Today I'm gonna give you a couple of tips about how to hire a personal trainer. I know it sounds, it sounds very simple, but it's not that simple. You want to get results in whatever field or whatever area of your life you're looking for, and therefore you need to hire the right professional. And let's uh, even though there, we, there is personal trainers out there, it's the same thing to hire a doctor. You're not gonna hire any doctor, and there is surgeons, there is dentists, there is uh, family doctors, you can find all kind of doctors. You need to narrow that doctor into whatever you get in, um, whatever work you're getting done. If you get in your, if you get in surgery, it's, um, knee surgery is different than having a heart surgery. And if you need glasses, it's different, it's different than actually work on, let's say you have diabetes. There is different doctors for different things. The same thing is gonna happen with your personal trainer. So I'm gonna give you a couple of things that you have to take into consideration for you to get a good for you to get good results. It's like like also hiring a baby city. If you're gonna hire a baby a baby city, you wanna make sure your kids are in good hands. Do you trust the person? And do your your kids are gonna take care they're gonna be taken care of and at the same time they're gonna learn something. You're gonna best you're gonna find the best babysitter out there for your kids because your kids are very important for you. Your health should be the same. So let's go straight forward to the tips and let's begin with the first tip. The first thing is find out what do you want. What is your goal? What is your outcome? What do, what do I mean with it? Let's say you want to run a marathon. So then you have to find a personal trainer that is good on that. He or she are, is, um, is running marathon, has actually take the first, second place. That person have actually taught other people how to run marathons. You're not gonna hire a bodybuilder personal trainer if you're planning to run a marathon. Even though it's the best personal trainer, the best, the best bodybuilding personal trainer, it's not gonna fit the requirements that you're looking for. As an example, we do body toning and weight loss. When people come to me and they ask me they're gonna compete, they're gonna go to a competition. They say, Sandro, I need to get in shape because I'm gonna compete in this and blah, blah, blah. I tell them, you are in the wrong place. We actually help you in toning your body and weight loss. I think you should go to another place because our training is not gonna help you. So that's the first tip. Second tip is make sure you like your personal trainer. What do I mean with that? It's like dating. If you're gonna date somebody, you're gonna like that person. With your personal trainer, you're gonna you're gonna have a relationship with your personal trainer. You two must like each other so he or she can help you and you feel comfortable and you two work together to achieve your goals. If you two don't like each other for any reason, there is no way you two are gonna work together. So, for example, I had a client they came to me and she wanted to lose weight. And, I, and I'm very straightforward with my clients because I want them to deliver results. And when we sit, we talk about their goal setting and we talk about how much weight she's gonna lose and etc. And one day I was training her and I told her, okay, you must do this. And, and she was capable of doing it. And she got upset with me. When the session finished, she told me that I'm very, straightforward and that I'm 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 abrupt abrupt so we sit and we had a, a conversation and we talk about my approach about personal training and she wanted something more passionate with this nothing wrong with it um so we her and I we agreed that we, I'm not the perfect the, the right personal trainer for her she needs somebody else has been maybe three years since that happened, I still see this person around in town and she hasn't lost any weight. But my point out of that is that we, not, we don't like each other, we, not, we don't have that relationship. So that's the second point, make sure you have a relationship with your personal trainer and that you like each other so you both of them work together. The third point is make sure that the personal trainer has proof of whatever results that person is gonna deliver. As an example, if you hire a personal training for you to run a marathon, find out other testimonials from other people that, that he or she has trained to, to, 
to see if that person actually got results, how they did in the marathon, if they did good, if they finished without pain, if they like it, if they, they were prepared enough to run that marathon. When you have, when that personal trainer has that proof, social proof and real proof about how great that person is. We're not talking about certification. We're not talking about license. We're not talking about the knowledge. We're talking about proof that he or she can deliver the results that is promising to you. That's the third point. Let's go to the fourth point. The fourth point is knowledge. Of course, besides you knowing where you're going, what you're hiring the personal training for, besides you liking your personal trainer and, and having proof, he or she has to have the knowledge and has to know how to pass that knowledge to you. Uh, for example, for weight loss, it's not about exercising and eating healthy. There is many things. There is the environment, there is the motivation, there is psychology, there is uh, the nutrients, there is the processed food itself, there is the exercise, increasing the metabolism, and it's about how motivate people, their desires, their burning desire to weight loss. There is many things that go into, into weight loss. It's not only about exercising and eating healthy. So for me to be able to deliver results, it's very easy for me and tell my clients, you know what, do this exercise and eat this. Everybody will lose weight because it's very simple, but that's not the truth. The hardest, the hardest part of my job is to be able to, to tap in people's brain and understand them and make them understand how they're going to lose weight. That's the hardest part. And the hardest part is to pass that knowledge to my clients. So make sure that personal trainer has that knowledge and knows how to pass it to you. That's the fourth point. And now let's go to the fifth point, which is your personal trainer should be able to motivate you, should be able to get you out of your comfort zone. He or she should be able to, to help you to become a better person in general, or if it's not in, any, in general, at least in the area or the topic that you hire in him or her for. If you want to run a marathon, you, he should not only tell you, just run that marathon. Even though your goal is to run that marathon, he should push you to do even better than that. Because you hiring, I bet you are hiring that personal trainer not only for the information that you need to run that marathon, but at the same time you hiring it for, to get some motivation out of, out of um, out of the relationship, he should be able to, to know how to motivate you, how to tap into you and teach you not only by teaching, by, by, by helping you to have a burning desire for you to actually run the marathon and be the first place. He should be able to, to help you to become a better person, to aim higher. He should be able to motivate you, in other words. So I believe those are the main points that you should look at before you hire a personal trainer. Money, I don't think is important if the personal trainer is the best in town and not only the best, because remember, you're not looking for the best because he's the best personal trainer, but at the same time, it has to fit or meet the requirements that you need to whatever you want to do. If it's a run a marathon, if it's being a bodybuilder, if it's losing weight, toning your body, if whatever it is that you're doing, the personal training should be the best in that area. So if that personal training is good, I think the money is not as important because you're going to get a lot of results and you're going to uh, make one of your dreams come true. Uh, I'm not saying don't check on your budget and, and, and you should hire a per expensive personal trainer. No, what I'm saying is if you get in a good personal trainer, then that personal trainer is worth what you're paying for. Now, if you're not going to get a good personal trainer and you want to pay less, remember, you get what you pay for. I hope this video helps you to clear up your mind about one personal trainer or who you should hire to get in shape, to run a marathon, to lose weight to whatever thing you 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 want to to do a triathlon whatever thing that you want to accomplish this year please if you know anybody who's looking into a personal trainer and, and is looking to hire a personal tra trainer of course share this video with that person it will open his or her eyes to actually hire the right person according to his or her needs Share it, like this video, and wait for the next episode on next Sunday. Thank you so much. Talk to you later.